Oh, hey, girl. How you smelling today, boo-boo? Huh? All right, you guys. So Sephora starts today. I'm actually filming this today, which is Friday. And I already did a video of this, but it was more makeup. But, baby, this video is going to be solely fragrances. So, let's go ahead and start. Bam! With Poison Girl by Dior. You guys, this fragrance to me is so so good okay it's very it's not all so sexy it's that type of fragrance that you want to you're you're not going to think about it you know you're going to be smelling good somewhat sexy okay because i have really really sexy fragrances this one's just like yeah i'm sexy but i'm subtle you know what i mean this has ginger this 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 fragrance to me smells like sugar cookies you guys with a hint of ginger it's so good Oh, I, I, I really recommend this one. But you know what I've heard? That Poison Girl by Dior, the toilet. No, the perfume is way... Perfume, yeah, because this is the toilet. The perfume one is way better than this one because the lasting power on this one is good, but it's not great. So we always want great. Why not now that the Sephora sale is starting? Boop, boop. Okay, and then it is a time... If you are running low, like your girl, ex please excuse my nails, okay? I took them off. Yes, sabes. But um, do I like this perfume? Hell the fuck yeah. Oh, I'm not going to cuss that much. I'm going to keep it ladylike, okay? Anyways, um, it is time to buy your YSL Libre Intense Libre Perfume. I'm not a big fan of the perfume. I felt like it had way too much amber like it was it was too ambery for me this is by far my favorite but i actually want to pick up the intense um i've been mixing this one with vanillas but you know what i just feel like i want a, i want more vanilla so i think i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna pick up actually the intense so it has more vanilla ya tu sabes this is heavy on the lavender this is Oh, this, this fragrance is so good. This has vanilla and lavender, but the lavender is way more pronounced than the vanilla. And supposedly on the Intense, it has more vanilla. So we shall see, okay? We shall see, baby. But yes, I recommend that you guys pick up on your YSL Libre. Now we're going to go into the Burberry, okay? So you've been wanting your burberry obviously the burberry intense is discontinued so we are left with the original burberry okay and the new burberry which is the elixir so i have the burberry the uh intense i have this one and i actually bought myself the elixir i found that the elixir was a little bit way too similar to the intense so that's why i'm gonna suggest that you pick up the elixir but i don't need it since i have the intense but pick up on your burberries y'all this is a very sweet sexy these are sexy okay this one has strawberry this is a milky it also has like a little sharpness to it which i found that elixir didn't have the sharpness to it, it was it was more linear it was more like soft but i do want to finish this one out but you guys Pick up your Burberry, especially the Elixir. Another one that I do want to recommend is the Paradox, Prada Paradox. I have that one, but I find that one to be very similar to many, many fragrances that I have. But, ojo, if you guys hear screaming, my whole family's here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm over here filming in my closet and my babies and my family and everybody and the mama in the living room, okay? So if you guys hear the baby screaming, Please excuse it. Anyways, um, a lot of people don't have so many fragrances, okay? But I do find the uh, Paradox is such a great beginner-friendly fragrance. It's everything that you need at once, okay? So I recommend that one. And the lasting power on it is actually really good. So, yeah, that's from Prada. Okay, let me put this one back in here. Okay, 
coming up with Tom Ford. If you've seen already my other uh, video for the recommendations, you're going to see some of these popping up that I already show, uh, shared over there. But this one is solely fragrances. That's why I have to bring it out, boo-boo. Anyways, Tom Ford is a um, house that doesn't really go cheap or you can't find it for cheaper. So right now is the time that you can pick up any Tom Fords that you guys need and you're gonna get it for way, way, way cheaper, okay? So um, if you are not a fan of any other uh, Tom Ford fragrances like me, I would say that if this is your favorite one, pick up your second bottle or pick up the first bottle, whatever. This is such a beautiful summer fragrance you guys this is delicious okay although i think sephora has a spring sale too so you can wait on that sale but um one that everybody talks about is tobacco bunny mm, look up on that one if you like kind of woody tobacco woody fragrances you're gonna like that one so i think tobacco bunny i've smelled it i think it's really really heavy on the tobacco leaf but i i think it's mm, I think it's sexy, okay? It's the same thing that I get from Velvet Orchid, or is it is it Velvet Orchid? The purple bottle, I don't remember what it's called. I can smell it on other people, and I like it. I don't love it, but they are sexy in their own way, you know what I mean? Like, it depends on the person. Like, on me, it just stays on the top, and it will not blend into my skin, and it's just kind of, it's kind of nasty. But I've smelled other women, and they pass by, and they... They leave like a nice, beautiful, vanilla-y kind of scent trail that doesn't go well with my skin. But anyways, what I'm just trying to say, pick up on your Tom Fords, okay? Because Tom Ford is the time that you can get it right now. And then following that, we're, I'm going to bring these two. Okay, following that, we got Joe Malone. These don't go on sale as often. These are harder to find on sale. And I recommend both of these from the top from, from Tom Ford from Joe Malone's line. I think these are the more that last the longer on your skin. I've had other ones. I have a little one right here that you kind of spray it on. It kind of disappears. But this one stays on your skin like no other. This Joe Malone long, uh, London. Joe Malone. London. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Joe Malone. Okay. Scarlet Puppy, it's cologne intense. This is almond, vanilla, milky, so good. Kind of like Rolling in Love from Killian, okay? But this is perfect for fall and winter. More leaning winter. This is sexy, okay? Super sexy. Myrrh, myrrh and Tonka. Tonka and Myrrh from Joe Malone. These are unisex. Joe Malone fragrances, also Tom Ford are unisex fragrances. So even for give for gifts and stuff like that for Christmas or whatever, they're good gifts. Who doesn't want a Joe Malone, right? Look at this one. Oh my gosh, I picked this one up because of uh, Peyton. But you guys, this is sexy. Now let me say something, okay? Oh my god, it's so good. It's really, really, really good. For real, for real, for real. Okay. Erica, which one do you recommend between both of them? They're both very different, so I can't choose one. I'm sorry, Bilbo. I, 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 I just got to be honest. Okay, so when you first spray this on, the first initial, initial spray, you're going to get a lot of the myrrh. Myrrh. I have a hard time saying that word. Myrrh. myrrh. Anyways. And then the dry down. This is a perfume that you have to wait for the dry down. Now, I am that type of girl that you're like, no, if I don't like it at initial spray, I don't like it. This is the exception. This is the only fragrance that I've ever given it a chance like that. It's just like, okay, I'm going to let you calm down on my skin. And then the creaminess, the tonka bean, and whatever smoky. It has like a little, it's a very different fragrance. In my entire collection, this is very, 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 very different. It just screams sexy, oud woody 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 you know what i mean sexy i don't know i don't know i don't know what to tell you but i love this perfume i love it all right up next we got bam you thought i was gonna leave this deliciousness out of my video you you tripping girl you don't know me you you don't know me you, you don't know me of course not 
uh black opium is that sexy this has coffee vanilla sexy licorice black licorice oh. i want to wear this every time i go on a date night or whatever this is my fragrance of choice and this steers me no wrong like this does so good you guys especially right now in fall and winter wow black opium is a classic and bitch i love it look at that look at that i love it i wear it i love it i recommend my friend was calling me she was like erica i want a bad sexy ass fragrance you know how many fragrances i have in my collection right you know which one i recommended yeah you know i have it in my hand i told her you want to walk in a room and you want to be the stop, sh the, the stop shopper, the stop shopper, the fuck? You want to be the, the stop shopper. What am I trying to say? What is that word? Tell me that word. That's show, show stopper. Oh my God. Uh, you want to be that show stopper? You want to walk in and you want everybody to smell your fragrance and then you? Well, not really. You. This one walks with you, okay? This one, she's like okay she's walking and and everybody's smelling you but she's walking with you she's not going to come before or after you anyways i recommend this one moving on to miss dior of course pretty girl of course pretty girl you pretty you know that right you know you're pretty nobody told you you were pretty today i'm telling you girl you're pretty okay anyways you guys this fragrance is a pretty girl timeless Miss Dior, you need a you need a Miss Dior in your collection. I don't care which one it is. Just pick yourself up a Miss Dior, okay? So you can feel complete. You need a you need a, a, a Miss Dior. How many times do I have to say that? I'm sorry, but you do, you do need it. Okay. Gucci Flora. Gucci Flora Gardenia has notes of white. I love that the notes are in the back. Like I know it. No, I don't know it. I just be reading it out of here. It has white gardenia, jasmine, pear blossom. Was that a struggle for me to say? A little. Oh, anyways. Wow. Juicy Couture Who? Juicy Couture Who? You know? This is so good. This is so delicious. It is so prominent on the pear. It is so prominent on the jasmine. It's so prominent. It's so... <sighs> It's such a strong, uh, fruity fragrance that goes well with everybody. I think, like, who who do you think can go wrong with this fragrance? I, I don't know. Because it, it just, it, it's that good. I love it. These are for my sexy girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sexy. Did anybody tell you you were sexy today? Girl, you sexy. You super. Look at you. You so sexy. Okay. This is... Oh, you sprayed Valentina already? Bitch. Damn. You on a roll today, huh? Valentina Donna born in Roma. Valentina Coral Fantasy. But we can wait for the spring sale for that one, huh? The bottle is absolutely stunning. Stunting, honey. I love it. Um, This one is for my date night girls, okay? For my girls out there. They're out and about. They're on Tinder and they're meeting people. <laughs> Do people still do that? I don't know. I've never done that, but shit. I don't know. Ya tu sabes, okay? That's for you. If you are dating, if you're going to the clubs, you need this fragrance. It's that sexy. I love, love Angel Share by Killian. Angel Share by Killian. It's a boozy, very, okay. Let me say something. I don't consider it being super duper sexy, but everybody else and their mama think it's super super sexy okay what i get from angel share is when you go to mcdonald's and you open your apple pie and you eat your apple pie it smells just like that it's very heavy on the cinnamon and it's boozy it has um cognac in it so i think it's a very delicious fragrance it's very gourmand that's what I, th th now that's what i call gourmand okay where you're you're actually 
smelling very edible it's actually very unisex too now my husband thinks it's more more feminine so i don't know if a man would love it if you would gift that for them but i can like i remember at the store i smelled this guy and i was like that's angel share and it smelled really good on him like really really nice so yeah i recommend that now let me go into skin scents okay juliet now let me go into skin scents this is juliet has a gun not a perfume this is a very different type of fragrance this has uh, ambroxan if i'm not mistaken it you smell it like this right and you're just like there's nothing special on it there is it becomes a skin scent that everybody can smell you smell clean you smell like baccarat oh and the sprayer the sprayer bitch look at that now my whole little closet is gonna smell like this but i sprayed this on a friend that she came over and she was like oh i want to smell juliet has a gun i don't know if she picked it up i don't know if you picked it up girlfriend but anyways this has the note like a very sweet and it becomes skin set that's all i can say about this one this is for my girls that kind of get like a headache and they're like oh i can't wear strong fragrances this is for you honey boo boo also clean reserve pick up on your clean reserve i like the nectar honey nectar i don't remember what it's called but it's from clean reserve that one is also more of a skin scent but oh my gosh it smells so good i want to pick it up actually you have to discern you have to be smart with your money you, you can't go crazy and be like oh my god i want this after all once you're ready to check out on sephora it comes out always more than two hundred dollars so be be gentle on what you're actually like you know that's why i'm giving you like variety so you can be like yes i'm the clean girl also uh miss dior miss dior this one is is of a clean girl you know what i mean it's a very floral fresh type of fragrance so if you like clean scents you kind of you'll like this one i think okay because it has like a a nice nice something okay so yeah clean uh skin reserve what did i say skin reserve anyways that one y'all know what i'm talking about okay now moving on to another sexy one this is flower bomb nectar this is me this is my signature scent i love this perfume i always talk about this perfume i always recommend this perfume now i'm thinking the only reason i didn't recommend this one to my friend is because this one has the gunpowder note to it that i don't know if a lot of people will love but bitch this is fucking fire 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 i tell you okay i prefer oh splurge on this one if you like my type of scent this is syrupy this is thick this has body this is just like she's walking through through the doors and she's like um yeah i see you yeah i see you you see me you know what i mean it's like mm, like she's walking but she has like so much she's so sick yeah i know right she's sexy she has body she's full she's she's syrupy she's sweet she's obnoxious she, she's she can be annoying i know i can be annoying okay i know i know but she can be annoying you know if you overdo it but bitch this is me in a bottle who is erica in a bottle this is me me did i say what it was nectar flower bomb nectar so you, it has the back the dna of a flower bomb nectar but it has the dna of flower bomb but with a nectarine note wow this is delicious i love this oh my god should i wear this today no i already have a fragrance on shit anyways me not struggling in camera killian i'm a little okay all right all right, all right. i'm a little over the sweetness of this perfume i wore it last time and it was kind of getting on my nerves if you love super duper my nose is changing it's getting older yeah it is okay so i'm moving into the phase of woody right what the fuck next thing you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna be telling you guys to buy tom ford and y'all are gonna be with me because y'all are getting old with me too okay if you're 20 i'm 22 <laughs> so we'll be 20 you know 25 by the time we love tom ford <laughs> i'm 22 with six kids that nah, i just say anyways um 
yeah my nose is changing you guys but i still love my sweet scents but this one is intoxicating sweet this one i left it alone for a while and i am paying for the consequences because it just got that stronger so this is marshmallow with matcha tea it's really delicious back just get this one this is, this is sweet i don't know what the fuck i'm saying Shit. all right now let's move into some killian okay um let me bring three out just so i can get them out of the way and i'm gonna tell you guys my true opinion on each one of these okay love fest i recommend if you are looking for that cherry fragrance i don't think you need to go out of your way to have a cherry fragrance because it's not an easy reach so the ones i'm giving you you don't have to think about you're just like okay i'm gonna wear this one period poop okay this one you do have to think about where you're gonna wear it it's not um an easy reach that's all i can say it's i i hardly even pick it up because I always prefer something else. That's just my preference, okay? But this is cherry, heavy on the cherry. It's a boozy liqueur cherry, kind of. It goes in the liqueur side of like Killian um, Angel Sherry, that 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 type of booziness to it. It doesn't smell like it, but it has that boozy liqueur in it. It's really nice. It has a wyak wood. Oh, it's really nice. It's woody, but um yeah you just you're just fighting with yourself in when to wear it it's so beautiful it, it's really beautiful it, it's it lasts for a really long time uh one thing i do got to tell you you have to have a kaoli in your collection so you can experience the whole kaoli thing okay but that one i will leave it okay um this one juicy apple it's perfect timing for right now it's like apple picking and you know it's very youthful playful juvenile it smells like bath and body works and victoria's secret so if you are in that realm or you're just getting out of victoria's secret or out of bath and body works this is perfect for you honey boo boo okay now you're not gonna be like you're gonna be like what the fuck are gonna? yeah but it's you're just coming out of bath and body works okay so this is a great way to start off in fragrances you're gonna find it to be strong on your nose because that's exactly what happened to me I was just like, wow, these are strong. But then once you get into the real perfume world, you're going to be like, oh, that wasn't as strong. This smells like a juicy, juicy red apple, watery. This is good for any type of this, any time of season, winter, summer. I mean, any time of season. Okay. So I recommend that one too. Now let's talk rose. Are you ready? If you like Oud Bouquet, if you like Montal Roses Musk, if you like Velvet Vanille, you're going to love this. And this is Kayali uh, Sweet Diamond. Since I told you guys that my nose has been changing, it, I'm just like, Whoa. I don't know where to wear you to. Ew, it smells so good. This is my first video. How come somebody, some of you told me that it was private? I have to check on that. I, I'm always, I'm always going to see, or like I deleted it or something. I remember one time in my life, like in the beginning, I was like deleting some videos or something like that. Maybe I don't, maybe I deleted. No, I don't think I deleted. Anyways, this is my first, my first uh, video ever. So this smells really sweet. Wow. If you like rose, red rose with syrup, like that sticky syrup, this is for you. Sugary, syrupy delicious uh kayali i would recommend this one if you love rose okay okay so a replica by the fireplace was one of those fragrances that i was like ill no ill no so then i was like you know what everybody loves it why don't i i love creamy i love marshmallow i love i didn't love Ooh, uh, uh, woody fragrances so maybe that's why i was like turned off wow that 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 kiali pink pepper smells really good i sprayed it on the air and it's it's really nice i haven't worn that one in a while see wear your fragrances back like keep them in the back until you're just like um i'm tired of you and then bring them back out and maybe you'll change your mind anyways replica by the fireplace if you like woody sweet marshmallow obnoxious obnoxious smokiness 
pick that one up in it and you know why i thought that i was gonna like it because i really like the joe malone Murin Tonka. so i was like okay if i like that one that one's very smoky i was like if i like that one then i'm pretty sure i like joe malone so any uh, joe malone, what the fuck? i'm pretty sure i i'll like that replica so i ended up ordering it the sample size and the bitch here i am today ordering the, the not the big bottle but the the medium okay so i i jazz club was one i was between jazz club and that one now i did a big order okay um i spent over five hundred dollars i think or four hundred dollars and something on some fragrances so that's why my budget my husband was like bitch your budget no he never calls me bitch but he was like mi amor your budget is limited on sephora so i was like okay so I had to choose between Replica by the Fireplace and Replica Jazz Club. So I ended up getting by the Fireplace because why not, right? Okay, now let's talk Vanillas. Let's talk Vanillas. I am a huge vanilla lover. Um, I have more vanilla up there. Uh, okay. First of all, let me say that I don't know if Eilish is on Sephora. So I'm going to put this one. Anyways, I recommend this fragrance, okay? I don't know if it's on Sephora or Ulta, but I bought that one off of Ulta, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not in Sephora. Vanilla Woods is different than Kayali. They're all so different. This one's woody. This one is floral. And you need them both. Don't tell your husbands I told you this, okay? You need them both. Whenever you can, pick these bad bitches up, both of them. Very different. This one is a... you and, and the thing about it is that you can mix both of them with everything and anything. And you will be... You know how many times I've gotten compliment with this one? And Kayali Musk. I mixed Kayali Musk and this one. And yeah, I am. I am. Now, the Kayali Musk... Um, I do have to like reapply and reapply and reapply. So I haven't even bought the big bottle yet, which I was telling you guys. I bought the mini one and I'm done. Okay, I, I finished it. So I should have picked it up, but because I made a big purchase, I can't. So uh, Vanilla Woods, bitch, pick that up. Pick it up. It is so good. I can't choose one or the other. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. These are my two favorite vanillas in the whole entire world for right now. so good no but when i'm telling you so good it's so good now imagine i want you to imagine this imagine a wood okay so you went to the you went to the mountains here in in vegas mountain charleston is popping right in in the winter because it's snowing and stuff like that but you went to the mountains and it's about spring okay it or a little bit past spring it's almost gonna be summer but in the cold in mountains, in las montañas, okay? So the wood is not wet no more. It's drying up, okay? It's, you can start smelling like the wood. It's windy. You smell the wood, the dry up wood. It had been rain on. It had been tossed around. It, it was peed on. No. Well, maybe a dog or two like walked around that wood and peed on it. I don't fucking know. Anyways. It, it doesn't smell like pee, but I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being funny. Okay. <laughs> Get my humor. So somebody came and they had like sugar syrup, like sugar, right? And then they grabbed it and they pour the sugar syrup, straight up sugar, like brown sugar. Okay. Straight up brown sugar. They pour it all in that wood and then it seeped in the wood. It's inside of the wood. And then you pick it up and you smell it and you smell woody, sweet syrup wood. Did I nail it? Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know if, you, if I even made sense, but what does this have? I don't fucking know, but this smells like that. This smells super sweet. Woodiness. It's so good. It's that good. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, wow, super delicious. I recommend this fragrance.
moving on. Am I moving on to something else? I recommend that fragrance. Um, Alien Goddess Intense. It's a coconut amber fragrance that you need in the winter and the fall. It's all the way in the top, so I can't get it. But you guys, I think that is it that I actually like my true, true, true recommendations. Okay. But if I would have to tell you, choose one fragrance, bitch. Just choose one and you are set with that one. You're versatile. You can wear that one everywhere. You don't have to mix it. It's already there and done for you. Which one would it be? Wow. It's going to last. It's going to project. Let's think. Let's think. Out of my collection. Okay. Oh, my God. Libre. Libre is sexy, sensual. Libre is that girl. Libre is fresh. Libre is sexy. Libre is libre. Libre. It has... You can wear it summer, winter, fall, all that in a bag of chips. I love this perfume. I get so many compliments when I wear this by men. Oh, it's so sexy. Bitch, it's so fucking sexy. If you can buy two, if you can buy, I, I, I don't I don't have Intense. So I heard that Intense is like this one mixed with, with vanilla. So... I'm going to buy that one. And if that's it, then it's going to replace my Libre. Like what? Okay. But if you can buy only two fragrances, get these two and you're done. You're done. So I'm done. I'm done. I'm done recommending any. I'm done. Okay. So you guys, that is going to be my recommendation for the holiday Sephora sell on fragrances only. The fuck was I going to say? Well, anyways. Anyways, y'all. That's my recommendations for fragrances, you guys. I hope you guys pick up your favorite fragrances or the, your wish list fragrance. This is a time where you can do it. Please let me know in the comments which ones you guys are dying to try, okay? And that's going to be the end of this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. See you on the next one. Besitos a ti. We